uh, for this question, it's a question where you will need to use the ruler to measure. So some students got stuck for this question because they didn't realize that they need to use the your ruler to do the actual measurement. So if you look carefully, they bold up the word scale. So one centimeter represents n meters. And then the question says that it shows the floor plan of Cheryl's bedroom and it is drawn to a certain scale. So it is drawn to a scale of one centimeter. Uh, representing n meters. So you need to know that uh, they gave us the actual area, but we don't have the, the map area. So from the idea here, we will need to measure. So you need to measure the dimension, which will give you around six centimeter and five centimeter. So in such a case, after you measure, so the six centimeter and the five centimeter will come from uh, your own measurement using ruler. Uh, the actual one will be quite accurate, so you measure on the actu uh, actual O-level paper. So because of this, after you measure, you will get a 30 centimeter square. That means the floor area, the map area is 30 centimeter square, and it's going to represent 19.2 meter square. So here comes your sex tool topic. So this is what we'll call the area scale. From the area scale, I can reduce it to the length scale. But before I reduce it, it is always a good idea that you find out one centimeter square first. So you divide both sides by 30 so that you can find out one centimeter square. So after you find out one centimeter square, then you can take the square root. So be mindful of the units because uh, you are in meter square. When you take a square root, it will give you meter. So this is what you should have. Okay, and then um, okay, usually n will be uh it, the the usual scale will be n should be uh in centimeter. So if n is in centimeter, then you should have done this. But in this question n is not in centimeter, n is in meter, so it should just be uh, 0 0.8. So usual, if there's the usual question, one is to n scale, and then you will need to convert to centimeter. Okay, and then uh, for, for the second part, you can do the second part if, let's say, you couldn't do the first part, because the question says that she wants to varnish the floor in her bedroom. That means right, she wants to cover 19.2 meters square. So you make sure that you know that you need to cover 19.2 meters square. So how much varnish do you need? So first of all, you need to decide how much first that, that will be sufficient for 19.2 meters square. So one liter can cover 16. So you do your calculation, you must show how much you need first. So after you show how much you need, then um, you should think about a real life combination. So how in how many ways can you buy your 1.2 liter? So you, if you look at the sizes, if you look at the three sizes, how do you make up 1.2 liters? So you can buy a one liter and then a 250 ml. So in the real life context, it is not possible. Sometimes it's not possible for you to find, to buy exactly 1.2. So you just buy the closest you can. Of course, you cannot buy less than 1.2, then it will be insufficient. So it's okay to buy more. So one way is to... Uh, buy a one liter and a two fifty, which a lot of people will do that. Okay, another way will be to find to buy two small five hundred liter, uh, five hundred ml, plus a two hundred and fifty ml. So you should work out the combination. So if you go for one liter and two hundred and fifty, this is the amount you pay, which a lot of people they will instinctively they will buy that. Okay, another way will be you buy two small one, and then a uh, two fifty. You go and calculate the cost you actually get 109. So 
the second combination should be the one that you chose because uh, it's cheaper. So it gives the same combination of 1.2 liters. So some people, they will have this question wrong because they didn't check out another combination where you can make a 1.2 liter of varnish. Okay, so take note, this one is a question where you need to measure.